Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at these new heroes uh, from the Kalevala family. Um, so I want to tell you what I think of them, if there's any that seem more usable than others, and then we will do some summons just for a little excitement here. Um, yeah, good luck pronouncing these names, huh? Before we get to this video, if you haven't checked out Gemstone Legends yet, come check it out. There are no joke thousands of players from Empires and Puzzles that have come over already, and for good reason. Simply put, it's a really fun game with some big advantages over Empires and Puzzles. We both know that the players that join these games earliest are some of the most dominant players. And this game is starting to really take off, so the longer you wait, the more you miss out on. Not only can you support the channel by using the download link in the description of this video, or by scanning the QR code on your screen, but doing so will also give you a free $50 starter bonus with an epic hero, gems, and gold coins. All for free, just by using the link or QR code provided. And then when you start, you'll gain access to beginner events exclusively for players who use the link or QR code provided that will give you another strong epic hero, a set of five star legendary equipment, and a platinum scroll for another guaranteed epic or legendary hero. Lastly, I have created a bunch of videos in a Gemstone Legends playlist on my YouTube channel to make learning this game as easy and fun as possible. So hit that download link in the description and get started with one of the most fun and deep match three RPGs. There is a great community in Gemstone Legends. It has some huge advantages over Empires and Puzzles. And overall, I think you guys are really going to like it. All right, we'll go in order that they are here. First up we have, I'll give it a try, Ilmarin. Ilmarinen. I have no idea. I think these are uh, Finnish heroes from what I understand. No idea how they're... Uh, phonetics work in terms of uh, pronunciation letters and accents and stuff like that but anyways more defensively built character they all have this family bonus that uh, for one two or three heroes receive minus 10 minus 25 or 40 percent less damage from the special skills of the stronger element um, which is pretty interesting 10 percent only for individual heroes um, yeah that's cool Passive ability, when this character starts a turn with low health, we don't know exactly where that threshold is, for the first time during battle they recover 15% health and receive 15% mana. So that's the kind of thing that could come, into hand, could come in handy every once in a while. Um, it's nice to have. Will it make the difference? Really depends. It could or it couldn't. All right, so we have slow speed here. Reduces the mana of all ice enemies by 40%. Reduces the mana of all other enemies by 20%. All enemies share receive damage with each other for four turns. This status effect is undispellable and lasts two turns longer on ice characters. All enemies get minus 56% defense for four turns. Again, two turns longer for ice. So this will be popular for maybe four events. Um, perhaps this is a hero that could replace... Um, Wilbur, um, we'll see, reduces mana is nice, minus 50, minus 56% defense is quite a lot, um, yeah, so kind of interesting, they all have this theme to them where they last, um, longer on the strong element to them. Uh, next we have the butter churning rat here. Going to go really quick through these. We have a purple healer um, that gives attack down to all and lasts longer on holy. Not too interesting to me. It is hilarious that we have an evil rat churning butter, though. That is so absurd. This guy is probably the best of the bunch. Horrible, horrible looking art. Um, but what are you going to do? So same family bonus and passive. We have a rogue, average speed. Deals 300% damage to the target, 470 to a random different enemy, 
Enemies hit, so this is both of them, automatically cast Mindless Attack on a random ally for three turns. Against Dark, it lasts two turns longer and becomes undispellable, so five turns against Dark of Mindless Attack, which is pretty good. Um, so I think he's the best. He's kind of like Zakina, though instead of the big defense down, he gives the Mindless Attack. So Mindless Attack to two is pretty nice. Um... And you get to choose one of them, and then the second target is random. So I could see him being useful. That would be the, the one I'd be most interested in. All right, Vynamoinen. I'm sure that's wrong, because we got a bunch of accents in here, but... Um, all right, Sorcerer, Fast Speed, 270 to the target and nearby. So we're seeing hit three numbers that are lower than what we've been seeing with Event Heroes. Because this is a new seasonal event, I'm thinking that they are positioning these heroes as just distinctly not as good as the standard event heroes. Um, so these seem to be like a step up, a couple steps up from Heroes of the Month, but in a way they seem weaker um, than our standard crop of event heroes. And that's because these are eligible for epic hero tokens, so I think because... Uh, free-to-play players could acquire these uh, more easily. They are positioned a bit less competitive to other heroes. So something to keep in mind. Minus uh, All enemies get minus 30% accuracy. So we're hitting three, but we're doing decreased accuracy to all, which is pretty nice. And that is two turns longer for fire. Only minus 30%, so less than one-third, but still pretty decent. Um, average speed monk dispels buffs first, deals 250 to all, so I think that's the same damage as Wolfgang, which is pretty decent. All enemies get minus 24% defense for four turns, and this lasts two turns longer on holy characters, uh, in addition to being uncleansable. So, you know, he's popular because everyone loves dispel before hit. It is nice. Um... Average speed, 15%. Minion. Minion gives plus 20% mana generation as long as the owner has it. Um, can't be dispelled. All enemies get minus 24% attack. Two turns longer on fire characters and uncleansable. So that's pretty cool. Um... For all allies. Yeah, so it's nice that she does all instead of target and nearby. Or nearby allies, I guess is the way they say it when it's on your own team. Dispels buffs first. Deals 165 to all. All enemies immune to status effect buffs for four turns. So kind of an interesting three star. Uh, this character become, or this uh, last two turns longer. On nature and is uncleansable. Same theme. Average speed barbarian, 285 to the target and minor to nearby. Target and nearby receive 196 burn damage over four turns, so probably no higher than, uh, probably not even 75 per turn, maybe 65 per turn. Lasts two turns longer on ice. The thing I don't know about this is it two turns at the same uh, level of damage per turn, or because the 196 is now spread over six turns, is it less per turn? Because that would be not as good. So they didn't word that very well. Uh, we got the Hideous Frog Beast here. Druid class. Fast speed. 280 to the target and nearby. Respectable. Uh, target and nearby received 240 water damage over three turns. That could probably get up as high as maybe 350. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, uncleansable. Two turns longer for fire. Steals 51% of healing. Uh, applied to target and nearby for three turns. Same thing for fire, two turns longer. We have a healer who cleanses first here. Average speed recovers 40%. All enemies get minus 24% mana generation. Yeah, that's interesting, but I don't know. There's nothing about these that is too incredible to me. Um, so there you have it. Uh, let's do some pulls here and uh, see if we can manage to snag any of these. Woohoo!
But you've got the Hero of the Month, and uh, I don't plan to level him personally, though. He is uh, interesting. All right, we got one of the three stars. Priska, Colin, Dawa, Bold Tusk. Okay, we got the four star here. She seems interesting. I'll probably level her for uh, tournaments. A lot of season one junk in here. A lot of season one. All right, maybe we'll burn a few tokens here and do a uh, temple. Oops, got a few troops there. So yeah, this is the yellow guy is the one that I would be most interested in. There she, or there he is. All right, they heard me say yellow, and so they're like, all right, we'll give you all yellows, but not the one you want. This guy again, something really weird about his look. Okay, nothing too exciting there. We'll do this one as a speedy one. We got a five star. Fast speed sorcerer. 280 with the accuracy debuff. Hmm. I do have plenty of tonics right now. All right, let's throw one more in here. Didn't see any yellows there, unfortunately. Elkanen. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go one more just because we're hitting right now. And then we'll call it. Got the butter churning rat. And more of the four stars. All right, um, let me know what you guys think of these heroes in the comments down below. I personally don't think this event is that great and probably should have just saved gems for something that I was more interested in. But, um, you know, being that there was one in here that was interesting, I figured I'd give it a shot. Let me know what you think of these if you had any luck. Um, and yeah, please hit that like button and subscribe to Quick Clicks to help you support the channel. It really helps out with the algorithm and all that kind of stuff. So I appreciate that support on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.